Hi my loves, welcome back to the Stars Cartel channel. If you don't know, I am Star. The message I heard is, sit down and listen. The hand of you, the hand of you, they do you wrong. The scripture comes from Wisdom 9 and 13. For what man knows God's counsel or who can conceive what the Lord intends? For the deliberations of mortals are timid and unsure are our, are our plans. <laughs> For the corruptible body burdens the soul and the earthen shelter weighs down the mind that has many concerns. And scarce do we guess the things on earth and scarce do we guess the things on earth and what is within our grasp we find with difficulty but when things are in heaven who can search them out or who ever knew your counsel except you had given wisdom and sent your holy spirit from on high and thus were the paths of those on earth made straight and men learned what was your pleasure and were saved by wisdom so here's the message um, for someone, there is someone that is going about and they are trying to act as if you are just so terrible. You are just so awful. They are trying to act as if you um, you mistreated them. Um, some of them are saying that you used them. Some of them are saying it like they are trying to paint this picture as if you are just this awful monster and they don't understand why you did them this way. They are trying to act as if they are a victim. But God says they are the ones who did you wrong. They are the one who mistreated you. They are the one that broke your heart. They are the one that hurt your feelings. They are the one that have been mistreating you all this time. But God says that they may be able to go about along the earth and say all these awful things about you. But they cannot come up to him and try to lie. They cannot come to him and fix their mouth together, fix their lips together to utter lies about what you did because he saw and he said he saw and he saw that your hand, you were giving them good. You were giving them love. You were giving them, I even hear for some, you were giving them treasures. You were, you were ensuring that they were okay. For some of them, you, you were helping them with their bills. You were helping them, making sure that they ate. You were feeding them. You were making sure that whatever pleasures they wanted, they had these things as well. And this person is acting as if you are just such a monster and you're just so awful and how dare you and you're just so mean and you're just... And God says, God says, God says, that they are being corrupt for the corruptible body burdens the soul and the earthen shelter weighs down the mind that has many concerns god is saying that the only reason this person is stressing like this and they are taking out their time trying to go about and make you out to be such a bad person and they are taking out they are trying to tarnish your name and they want to ruin your reputation and they want to do this and they it's like this person is stressing themselves out and the reason they are so stressed out okay come here let's the reason they are so stressed out is because they know that they, they're trying to paint this picture as though you were using them, but they were using you. And in reality, they're trying to paint a picture that you need them, but they need you. And God says that within the designated time, in the designated time, he is going to put this person on blast. He wants this person to carry on acting this way. He wants them to get to uh, take out the time and that like, I just feel like this is somebody, they are going about it with this sob story. Oh, and they did this to me. They did that to me. And they just did me so wrong. And they did this and they did. God says at the designated time, he is going to knock every single domino that they stacked up perfectly in an attempt to uh trip you and make you fall. God is going to do like that and knock all of them over. And everything like everything will come to light god says and scarce do we guess the things on earth and what is within our grasp we find with difficulty 
but when things are in heaven who can search them out and basically god is saying that the truth lies within heaven what's really going on is what heaven knows um this person is trying to act as if um the tables are not the way that they are. So this person may be trying to come up with this perception as if um, you needed them. They're trying to uh, make this uh, like the it. It's like they're trying to make it seem as though you were leaning up on them. For somebody, they trying to make you out to be like you were using them. Regardless if they trying to say you were using them for money, or they trying to say you were using them for attention, or they trying to say that you were trying to sabotage them, you were doing all these. And in reality, this is what they were doing to you. But God says, what is done in the dark shall come to the light. What is done in the dark shall come to the light. God says everything that they have done to you, it is going to come to the light. All the things that they have been saying and all the things they, they are going about and they stumping around and they making a big fuss. This is something they making a big fuss. Oh, they making, you may not even know. But uh, God sent me here to tell you this person is making a big fuss. A big fuss. They claim that you needed them. They are claiming that you used them. They are claiming that you did all of this stuff. God says at the designated time, he is going to make it known that they were using you. He is going to make it known that they were using you. He is going to make it known they were holding you back. He is going to let it be known. And for some of you, if not all of you, these things are going to be known by the way that God blesses you. God is going to bless you in such a way that this person, they are not going to be able to say that you used them to get that. For some of you, you have been separated from this person for such amount of time that it's not going to be positive. Like they're not going to be able to say, oh, if it wasn't for me, they wouldn't have that. If it wasn't for me, they wouldn't be able to do this. If it wasn't for me, they wouldn't be able to do that. This is somebody that's going around and they bragging and boasting and bragging. They boasting and bragging and letting it know that they helped you with this and they helped you do that. And they're the one that taught you this and they showed you how to do that. God said, this person didn't show you nothing if anything they've been slowing you down if anything they've been stressing you out if anything they've been in your way that's what they did they have been in your way they have been in your way they have been holding you back they have been uh, uh god is saying that they the, some of them they've been riding your coattail that's what they've been doing that's what they've been doing but they have been trying to act as if it was the other way around. But God says the truth shall come to light. The truth shall come to light. The truth shall come to light. And when that truth hit, it's going to hurt. And this is not something like, you know, this is not something that's going to be overnight. This is not something that, this is going to take a minute. And the reason it's taking a minute, first of all, God wants this person to, to go out. And scream from the rooftops and run about and talk to all the people that they can. They got to talk to all the people that they can and get their message out. God wants them to be able to express themselves. You know what I'm saying? We got free will. And they could be using their free will to be real and say, Oh, you know, I did such and such so wrong and it's my fault, but it is what it is. I got what I wanted and, you know, um, I still care about them. No, they can't say that. Mm-mm. Mm -mm, they can't do it. They can't do that. Uh-uh. They try to. They 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 can't even say that if they try. God said, hey, bite their tongue trying to say something nice. They can't say nothing nice about you. So they're going about and they're saying lies and they're spreading all kind of gossip and they got all this talk. You using them for this. You using them for that. Uh, you using you you needed somewhere to stay. Okay, allegedly. You needed, you needed this. You needed some kind of connections, allegedly. Uh, 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 so you needed money, allegedly. They have all of these excuses as to why you were using them. But God says... The truth shall come to light. The truth shall come to light. And they will surely be put to shame. Because your blessings are on the way.
Your blessings are on the way. And the second reason, another reason as to why God is allowing it to take a little time. Because God does not want anybody to ever, in any shape, form, or fashion, get confused and assume that this person helps you with anything. Because sometimes, if it's a situation where, um, like if this is a breakup, or if this was a job you were working at, and you just immediately, right after you finish that job, and you start a business, okay? That job could try to say, oh, well, they got their last check, and they decided they ain't need us no more, okay? And I have known people to do that, you know what I'm saying? Work a job for like a month, stack their money up, and then start their own business. But, you know, God is saying that he'll allow it to drag on a little bit, not because... He wants things to be harder on you, but because he don't want nobody to be able to stand in the way of his glory. He don't want anybody to say that they are the reason that you received your blessing. This is a blessing that you are getting from God. And God don't want nobody trying to beat on their chest and take the glory away from what you have. God don't want anybody to be able to uh, try to claim that they have rights to your blessing either. God is saying he is going to make it distinctively clear, obviously clear, that what you have going on, it don't have nothing to do with them. 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 God said it don't have nothing to do with them. The glory that God is about to put up on you, it don't have nothing to do with them. This is somebody, soon as you um left this person, everything, you just started getting blessings left and right. And they said he's trying to holler and scream that it's because of them. No, it's not. God said they not finna take his shine. They not finna take his glory. They not finna act as if they are the ones that are blessing you. The blessing that it's them. It's them. God said uh-uh he finna sit them down and that's the message thank you guys for watching be sure to like share and subscribe